of the brand nerfs on this patch. And so uh, Blabber going to go with another tank. Cloud9 have not had great success with him on tanks so far this season. Yeah. They got all their wins when he was on you know, 9 Instead, they may just try to turn it into a dive. The wave about to crash into the turret. Vulcan and Berserker hitting level two. Contract's coming in, looks for the Vault Breaker, and he breaks Vulcan's jaw. Now Berserker oh. under the pressure next. A little bit more damage is required. Oh, oh. no, it's some goofy plays coming out from Energy oh, no. as Huey just barely gets away from the turret shot. It ends up being a one-for-one -one trade. Yeah, Contract's just needed to back out and like reset the tower aggro there. Oh, oh, Berserker! He's about to drop! Who oh, he's coming in! What about the oh. tongue? He flashes! He misses! Oh, oh no. it's frog legs for dinner! Goodbye! Good night! Berserker gets paid! And FBI drops! The premier go-to pick that there's not really great answers into. So far, nice Wombo combo back in the mid lane here. Jojo tries wow. to get away, but Palafox is ready to knock him down. Blast. Just rather see Grub Pryo over early Drakes, anything like that for energy. Well, for energy side, yeah. yeah, I think so. Get that split pushing going, a little bit more value. Side, uh, constantly pushing here, is able to make sure Blabber will secure the Grubs for energy. So on Turtles checklist for energy. Okay, <laughs> they, nice. They've uh, they've corrected the game from the early dive. Should be able to get all three. Oh, they see Sidrani here? Yep. Oh, oh they're going to go all out. Fudge is oh, ready to bring no. Dokla into a 2v1 before well Contracts can... Flashes back up now for the Azir, though, so it makes it even scarier. Contracts Ooh. is in trouble. Yeah, Contracts getting caught there. Trying to use the Vault Breaker now. Turns it right back around onto JoJo's Azir. But the flash out of the way of the seismic shove means Contracts is done. C9 oh. gets the first kill as Vulcan goops. Oh, again, without that flash, without an ulti, he's got to be careful because Vi could always be around. Energy bringing up extra players as Vulcan goes on a magical journey trying to get away. Where is Energy going to go? Who do they decide to chase? Vulcan's your target for now. Abyssal Dive coming in to throw. Throw him up, energy knocks him down, Palafox gets paid, and Contract starts up the Drake. Honestly, I, it looked a little bit like energy were also having the same debate that you were having while you're casting that flower. You're like, which one are they going to Where drink? are they going to go? Well, Palafox flashed uh, towards JoJo, but then they end up getting the kill onto Vulcan anyway. Get six, and he wants to make sure that they don't get five for the extra Void Mites. He doesn't have Smite, though. He used his Smite on the first one, I believe. Yeah, this could be a problem. Looks okay. Like they're gonna get five here. Yeah, it's four grubs. They're gonna try to guarantee the blabber can't steal away the last one. A TP's coming in. Energy might just have to abandon it here. JoJo gets stopped by the unraveled earth. Contracts and the rest of energy cannot secure the could have some 3v3 action breaking out here. FBI and Huhi want to step up, at least try to challenge Blabber. They're going to steal away the Gromp, but at what cost? Huhi popping the thick skin, trying to get away in time as JoJo's entrance is going to be blocked off by Palafox, but Blabber has already killed the enemy support. Huhi's down, FBI's and down. FBI's about to get knocked out. Berserker takes the kill, and C9. They really need okay. to get Talia and Vi involved in these plays, and I don't think they are right now. Contracts. Well, Vi's getting involved in a play, but is it the play he wants? JoJo's yes, getting locked is. down here with a star beautifully done. Contracts, Palafox, and FBI have already found the enemy mid laner, but can they get any more? Blabber with a flashback away, trying to get underneath the tier one turret as Palafox tries to cut him off here with the Weaver's Wall. FBI needs a couple more Ooh. shots, but who he's tongue ain't gonna find the mark. Shut down back over to Senna still as Berserker fully retreats, and Vulcan is left to the graveyard. Contracts and FBI both coming right back around, piercing darkness. Fun. Finds him and Palafox goes on a rampage. Woo. Energy, get three. Action packed. I love watching Energy play because even after they fail on the first invade bottom side, then they get right back to it. Another fight, another victory. And they're able to swing the gold lead right back in their favor. Cloud9 with the teleport top for JoJo means that they should be able to at least get a tower in the aftermath, though. Okay, so C9 will pick this up. We talk about sometimes as gold leads being pendulums that swing back and forth. This one feels like a yo-yo. We're just throwing <laughs> yeah, that yeah, thing out crazy. and back and out and back. This game's here from the Eye of the Herald. Honestly, them opting for Rift Herald and trying to get uh, through that, some of this outer tower gold here for Mid either the, using that Rift Herald, trying to get this outer tower money like we're looking for. There we go. Okay, summoned up, going for it. Turret's already down, but now where's the fight gonna go? Contract's here for the very front. He's gonna be- Power before Dragon spawns, but Cloud9 stays strong. 
You mentioned it multiple times, but sticking as five with those defensive... I really liked. I think the value of the spell shield was pretty high against the composition drafted by C9. But then recognizing, hey, they have two max. C9 is burning the Baron down. They've already got it below 6K, below 5K, down to 4K. Dopeless coming in, trying to stop him, but C9 wants to burn it. Blabber secures the Baron as Fudge tries to dive into the middle of everybody, and Gontrax is controlled. Jojo's barely getting away. A missile dive onto four. Fudge is stuck back in the van as Dopeless tries to tear him up, and FBI's grabbing a shutdown. Energy need to find Blabber with a flash out, trying to get himself back to the base while still wearing the purple. He throws out the W, but he gets slowed down by the tongue. FBI still trying to pursue him, still trying to get all the way there, but Blabber is... Once it expires, it'll be about 60 seconds from then until the Drake. So C9 does have the opportunity to set up the... We got energy on the approach. A TP coming into the mid lane from Palafox, who he's going to be caught by the Bard ulti, but he's the only target. Now he's got to try to tank it up. Senna ult over the top, who he's still at about half HP. Fudge coming in, looking to complete the dive as Berserker goes on a rampage. Dokla is thrown back into the team. All out goes Fudge, all in goes Contracts, but he's 1v5. He ain't alive. Ooh. Everybody died at C9. Three for nothing. There you go, right into their hands. They have scaled Cloud9 Protect. And they... That he hasn't been a part of here for this team. Let's see if this engage works out in mid lane as who he turned into a golden statue once again. They're gonna put the burst into the Tom Kench and JoJo sits... But they're making the approach. C9 already have it down to below half HP, down to about one third now. Doklan contracts, they just know they can't approach. All this is gonna be is a team fight loss on top of a Baron if they go in for it. C9 still chasing, seeing if maybe they can pick one up at the back end of things. Set up for the disengage. Fudge goes over the wall. Q3 won't hit anybody. Magical journey don't matter. Pathmaker gets him out. All right. No kills on the back, but C9 is happy to turn a pick into a bear. And never mind, we ain't yeah. done yet. Contract's gonna be caught here with the top. Senna ulti trying to reinforce him, keep him protected, but Fudge does a lot of damage. Contract's still alive as JoJo gets away into the back. Palafox wants to chase, and JoJo's on the run. Palafox goes in, but JoJo shovels him right back. Palafox denied. Energy died, and C9 is loving the way this mid game's been going. Dope was trying to get away, but no, sir. Fudge Ooh. knocks him down. And Berserker's ending the game the whole time. <laughs> Berserker's just over here annihilating towers. That's the ADC dream right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's inside the base, so are the rest of Cloud9, and they're going for it. Cloud9 had a rough week last time around, but they're ready to stop that here. Who he is not going to stop anything on his own. The C9 loss streak will grind to a halt as they Ooh. defeat Energy again, 16-8. JoJo wow, gave, that, uh, that game really just cracked up.